Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Because I can can and I can can and I will. Because it's scandalous. Yes, I'm talking about you and your nonsense. Marvelous. Because that's what we came here to see. Okay, <laughs> hey, yep, we came here to see this mess. This debacle mess, this train wreck. Now, Candy, take the food out your hands, take the food out your mind, and set that ego straight. Just right by right next to you. Stop letting him use your money to invest in all these businesses that are not lucrative. Okay? Because I know you're taking up phone, baby. Because all the times I've known you, you being an escape, you are very frugal business-minded, look-to-the-future type of woman who ain't never been in the social media world or on news, our fake news programming that they give us here in Atlanta. You ain't never been in no news? Talking about uh, tax liens, tax problems, you ain't paying your bills, none of that. It's Faye running around there using her connections to bring these stories out on you, girl. It's Faye just still a thorn in your side. I don't know. But them tap issues still keep coming up on your restaurants, girl. And these uh, bad evaluations are still looming around you. But we're just going to be talking about the tax evaluations and the OLG um, restaurant being connected to it and what Todd is not doing. Because we know it ain't you. We know you putting up this big united front because you don't want your husband being out there looking bad. Even though your daddy should be telling you something about that situation. Like cutting mm -hmm. that brother off. Let him do what he need to do to support you all. Okay? You stop trying to, you know, be the breadwinner and all this kind of stuff and, and keep him. But, you know, everybody, you know, the streets was stalking and can't take care of men. But I wonder, will her man take care of her? I don't think so. I surely don't think so. Okay? But that's me. No, that's my thoughts. Not saying anything out the contrary. But I just think Candy needs to let Todd be known that he's effing up these businesses around here and not paying taxes. And you might be trying to handle it behind the scenes saying, I ain't giving no more money. You're going to have to scrape up whatever you make from me. By me employing you to be a part of my entourage and to be there for me when I'm doing things and taking care of the kids and this, that, and the third. You're going to pay for them taxes because I fronted the money for you to have all these businesses. But yet, there's nothing coming out of it. And I told you when I gave you that money. I ain't put my name on that kind of stuff. But since I am the one that people can hurt out in social media or tear down. They got something to lose. They coming out for me. They ain't thinking about you. They just going to say, Todd put you up to this. Todd let you use, let you get used like this. And you're trying, to save, you're trying to save face. I get it. Got it good. Nothing wrong with that if that's the kind of life you want to live. But me, I'm like, that's my husband business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all need to seek him. Put him in the hot seat sometime. But it seems like you are always catching the downfall when it comes to your restaurant's evaluations. When you sit up there charging four dollars for some ice cubes to go in some liquor. Um you know, I don't want you to come out and say nothing. Mm mm. Cause when you came out here trying to uh educate us, the public, social media, bloggers, whatever, about the alcohol, how much it costs, how much, you know, you have to, you know, charge for ice to go into it. It just didn't make no sense, Candy. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, you don't see um, McDonald's running around here charging us for ice to go into our cups of uh, drinks. You know what I'm saying? Soda pops. You, you don't see that going on. You don't even see it in the restaurants, okay? They just charge you one thing, you pay for it, you don't. You just drink water, okay? That's free from when I last went out there uh, to the restaurant. I think that was still free. Okay, lemon water. All right, they might be charging for the lemon now. I don't know, but it just is what it is. But Candy, like I said, you had a history of never, ever, ever, ever 
being late paying bills or being thrown under the bus about tax fees tax liens you ain't never been that kind of person and i'm sure your mama taught you well about that either you're gonna pay for it or get somebody to pay for it but don't let nobody uh put no salt on your name baby they ain't trying to flavor it they trying to ruin it and she already told you about todd i already done told you about todd before she didn't try to throw calm your best friend under the bus saying they were fooling around <laughs> And that was a cute story line, especially when she was going to fight in that um wedding story. <laughs> Y'all was in there trying on dresses or whatever. I thought I would fly to the floor, child. I think I actually did. <laughs> but that kind of banter I love. Even though it kind of made Mama Joyce look like, mm, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. We don't mind you going off on the man she's trying to marry, but you, you shouldn't be fighting with her friends and saying, you no know, bringing up old shit that she gave Carmen uh some of her old wigs or her old hair she wasn't using <laughs> Woo, child i don't know about mama joyce she be on her own she need her own little show i'm telling you. she'll probably outrage you candy she would probably outrage you but mama joyce probably telling them for get that damn camera out my face i ain't taping today who told y'all was taping today yeah she'll be a problem but anyway um they saying you old candy 23k and you know it ain't much to pay out okay it ain't much and to me i was just going to take it out my name uh well just going to pay the bill be like can you make all marks um his past taxes go away real quick fast in a hurry so people can just stop talking about it and i would just hold it up in a portfolio kind of what simon was holding up to his ex-wife Fallon when she wanted to do something he obviously would hold up allegedly from what a lot of bloggers were saying that he would hold up the prenup um uh signature portfolio he kept it in that you can't do this you can't do that remember you signed this prenup you know so i could see candy wanted to put that on the wall where he most frequently uh be around so he could see i ain't giving him no more money i don't pay that 23 uh 23k you know tax lien bill and don't ask me for no more money just be a part of my entourage and just forget about what social media is talking about. You ain't doing that. I'm supporting you. I'm paying for you. Just take it in stride. Take one for the ch take one for the team. Take the hits on your chin and relax and sit back somewhere. Because you know half of it's true. You're following me. I want you to follow me. I want you to be a part of my entourage. But I know your man who is getting in the way. But do something then. Go start your own business. Being a production. Whatever. You know. Let's see. You know. You get credits uh, out there by winning awards. Film awards. About what you don't produce. What you don't sit and did. Hey. You got Candace to know. They're skating circles all the way around your ass. You just put out that. Um for color men uh broadway play or whatnot and, and she produced it or helped produce it and what, what you doing talk what the hell is you doing okay like, i don't understand but anyway oh, that's their business i'm just reporting the news how i see it if i feel like i want to okay but candy if that's gonna destroy your credit history girl you need to go on straighten that out and like i said don't uh get him no more money let him fend for himself and let him sit in the corner and pout well however you get down because you know you could just 86 him on out the whole situation ain't nobody gonna be scared you can always co-parent you know this is what it is kids ain't gonna kids ain't gonna care one way or the other they're gonna follow you because they love you you're a good mama but a damn Todd, I, I don't understand i don't, I don't understand he, he he ain't setting the tone right or the optics are just not favoring him at this time um like i said you know just let him get his own business let him uh either per uh persevere or fall to the ground you know how to get back up without using your money um mm -mm -mm. oh you know i did say don't 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 release no statements because you, you you just didn't do right with that explicit explanation of trying to tell us why you were charging four dollars for the ice cube uh in the liquor and how that was supposed to match up and that we we were clueless we didn't know what the hell we were talking about but in fact we we were on the point on the stick and you had to go and do make some error changes in your computer system where it won't be charging folks four dollars for ice so that's a good thing moving on uh you don't want mama joyce to get on your ass candy because i'm sure it's going to come out on that taping you know she's going to say something and they're going to have it already recorded and they're going to use it it's, they're gonna use it and it's they're gonna look like you look like a fool and it's really gonna make todd hot under the collar 
So I would definitely be talking to my mama saying, don't, don't be saying this and don't be saying that. I know you're going to be mad, but you know, I got your present. <laughs> if you just don't, don't, don't make me look stupid on, on camera, mom, when I'm not around. Cause you know, you be taping. I ain't, sometimes I'm not around and they be getting you in them confessionals and you be saying a whole lot of shit that I have to answer for later on behind my closed doors with Todd going off and stuff. But it ain't like he got his mama no more, you know, sharing for him to go to and vent. And for her to come back on the show and start shit. And y'all both be fighting verbally again. You know what I'm saying? Probably want to put pause on each other. But she, you know, she's a, not not on this plane of existence no more. So, I have to make, you know, my walk a little better. And I don't need you to be, you know, tripping on this situation. Okay? Um, and then I'm thinking, you know, like most people, is it a storyline? Is it a storyline that's going to be linked up to the OLG? And what has definitely been legitly reported in real time that she's having trouble managing her restaurants with the um, violations of the code inspections of meat not being stored properly, uh, pink slime in the ice machines at one of the OLG or hell, it might have been uh, Steak and Blaze restaurant, seafood place. But, you know, those uh, infractions that were being made, and they're going to hook this into not only that is happening, but we also being hit with some tax liens, meaning somebody ain't paying no, no, uh, they ain't watching the books, and they ain't paying the taxes, which, you know, can you need to just go on and fess up, let it be in your name, only the restaurants or whatever, but get somebody to run it that know what they're doing, and then get somebody to follow up on the person that you got running, you know what I'm saying, like, double check stuff. You know, because you can't trust people when it comes to your money. Just like, I don't know who your accountant is, but I hope they paying taxes on you doing all these other businesses that you definitely have in your name. So, you always got to have a checker to check the checker that's checking. You see what I'm saying? Ah, and it's like I said, more money, more problems. More money, more problems, love. Um, and then some pa somebody made an interesting comment uh, of a video that I was watching um on Kempire uh they were saying something about maybe that's why Candy is supporting all these uh different entities in the political arena and uh so they can probably probably throw favors back at her when she's having trouble with getting licensings and inspections being approved and, and all this stuff and I'm like, well, <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. You got some politicians in your back pocket, um, um, Candy. You know, I know you and Ti and Tiny and and Toya and Rashida was doing some, uh, on Facebook trying to tell people to go out and vote for this person instead of that woman who was running, um, for uh, a position here in Atlanta, and she ended up losing because Ti I thought. He had the culture in his back pocket, and they went out and voted according to how he told them to vote, which I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Did you buy votes, uh, T.I., to make them votes go by, vote the way you think they should have voted? Girl, I think her name was Keisha. No, it wasn't Keisha. Shit, I can't think of the lady's name. But she was kind of controversial herself, you know, because they were talking about uh, shutting down uh, the strip clubs here in Atlanta and uh, they were trying to make um, people that had their own uh, studio that were making like loud noises or something to that degree. They wanted them to pay taxes on it or, or something to that effect. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. T.I. don't thought they sees the culture of Atlanta. He has uh, a lot of ability to make things happen. So Candy was there and he was, uh, she, he, See, I was telling her on that broadcast that, you know, they need to get together. She got the good credit and they got the money. They can make things happen. And Candy didn't say, she looked at him like, what? <laughs> I, don't, I deal with your wife. I don't deal with you, honey. But like I said, she didn't say yay and she didn't say nay. But her whole facial expression was like, uh-uh, dog. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. You and them weapons charges and, and you got questionable friends you hang around and mm, I don't think so. Okay, but she, like I said, she didn't tell them yes. Okay, she didn't say, yeah, we need to do that. We need to talk behind some closed scenes and make some stuff happen. She didn't say shit. And I said, I know she wasn't saving it to say, I got to talk to my husband about that. 
Nick Lacoino Todd ain't contributing financially over there No He's giving his time He's more like the housewife And you know if he's And I can't really say he's a true true housewife Because you know the housewife makes sure the, the clothes are clean The laundry is gotten in The, the dry cleaning is gotten there uh, They make sure the kids are good Fed Bills are being paid Groceries are always in the house the, the house is clean, you know, making trips for vacations, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, st letting uh, Candy know when the teacher had conferences in case she's not in town. They can have a, uh, what do you call it, a Zoom conference call, you know, you know, stuff like that. Todd ain't doing that. He's still running them streets, still in them strip clubs and getting mad when Candy ain't at home to do her wifely duties. <laughs> But she he de she definitely gave him an allowance that he going out there spending on other wor uh, worldly women, okay? And she cool with it just long as on a fringe in her time and she could partake of some of that loving that he's giving this other woman too. You know they got an open marriage. I'm pretty sure, uh, cause she said they invite people uh into their bedroom. So that in and that in to me incites another problem, but. If they were mutually agreed upon doing these type of actions, then I can't. Who am I to judge? You gonna do you? But when the shit hit the fan and you end up like not liking it, and then you wanna come out and tell us in public, uh, social media, get on your platform and, and tell the pitfalls of your demise of your marriage, I don't wanna hear it. I ain't gonna take sympathy on you because we were telling you all along. Look, you're too old to be playing these games. You got more years behind you than you got in front of you. Let's get it together, okay? Let's get it together. So that's all I got in this video, y'all. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Paige and Park around now, uh, telling some of her politician friends and people she runs with in the socialites uh, circle. Uh, can you do this? Can you do that? But keep it on the hush, hush. Keep it on the low <laughs> to make more problems for Candy running around now. Now I'm just speaking. I don't know what I'm talking about. It just came through. Came through. Came through. All of it's allegedly over here. Just have fun. Get you a little kiki. Get you a little laugh. Even off my commentary. Off of me. Uh, or just off the story that you don't saw yourself and heard. But you know, didn't have a platform to just express your opinion on. <laughs> So you came out to the house and sat with me and we just talked about it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing big. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Everybody talk about it. It's just the ones that, like us that have platforms. We give y'all the opportunity to say what y'all going to say. But don't necessarily judge us. It's how we bring it to you. <laughs> Okay, that's all I got to say, y'all. But I got to go. I'm working on slews of videos. So I can definitely not. What you want? So I can definitely not. Uh, be taping every day, so I can't try to do it in where I'm doing uh it in a uh what do you call it in an organized fashion, but trying to bang it out all at one time and then uh pre-record it and let y'all see it each day a new video. I have them released because yes, I do do other things outside of YouTube, believe it or not, and I don't always have time to do a video like every day okay but y'all be breezy and i will catch y'all in the next video bye bye